Danny Gum, how you doing, brother? Brian Bosworth here, man. I'm reaching out to you. Um, I'm trying to trying to come up with the words that that I think you need, and I'm just gonna pray that um, they fall fall on your heart. And, um, and brother, I'm I'm the, I'm right there with you. Um, I understand you're going through some heavy, heavy stuff. Um, your dad passing away. Um, and having that kind of man that influences your life um, as he has for your entire life. And you looking up to him as basically the creator of all things that are good in your mind and in your soul and in your heart. And now he is no longer at least here physically. But I want you to know something, Danny. Not only is he here spiritually, and he is looking down upon you, he has bestowed upon you all of the great gifts that he has to you. He, he built a, a foundation and, a, and a, a toolbox full of useful, valuable, permanent tools that you can then carry forward. This is an opportunity for you to always know that he lives inside of, of you and your mind and in your heart because the seeds that he planted for years and influenced into you are now taking root. And it's now your turn to grow. Um, not that you haven't been growing already for for many, many years, but that growth is growth in memory and experience with him and having all of the great um, memories that you guys shared together. And I appreciate the fact that you guys, you know, were fond of me um, there in Seattle for the very short period of time that I was there. And that influence and impact, you know, means an, an awful lot to me, but it, it pales in comparison to the impact that your father has on your life and how it will influence you um, for the rest of your life. Um, the joy that you should feel in knowing a man like that um, is something that should, should be a beacon of light for all to know that the character and the person that you are inside is the equivalent of the man that you looked up to each and every day. And with that is a responsibility and to be an accountable person from now until your day's end on repeating all the great things that he bestowed upon you, but also enhancing that. It's almost like a farmer turning over his crop to his son and his son watching that farmer forever till that soil and seed and bring in the harvest, uh, and then do it all over again. Um, but there's an opportunity for the next generation to improve upon those experiences by way of love and understanding that all of those sacrifices were, were done over time because he loved you. Um, and that love is infinite and it is everlasting. And knowing that he loved you with all of his heart um, is a great foundation for you to then grow your crops from and to seed the best crop uh, because of the experience you guys had together. And it, it provides just an inspiration for you to spread all of that love that you have shared together moving forward. And I know it doesn't make it harder, or I'm sorry, it doesn't make it any easier to deal with losing a man like that. Um, you know, we, all, we all often ask ourselves, why does God allow suffering? And I think it's an opportunity for us to understand what the true meaning of, of unconditional love actually means, that, that no matter what happens, the love will always overtake the sorrow um, and if we didn't know that his plan is sovereign over our lives 
that he knows what is best and the timing of everything happens for a specific reason, gives us an opportunity to trust and be faithful. And sometimes faith, faith is painful because it challenges us in a way that we, we don't like being challenged. But always remember that faith, follow all into him, follow all into him allows us to understand that it's his plan that we walk by and that the people that are in our lives during those moments that we share are there to seed us and that we learn from them and the experience that we have together. Sorry, dude. It's emotional um, because we choose to have a relationship a deep relationship um, because it involves love. So brother, I, I, I'm, I'm brokenhearted that you've lost your dad, but I'm also um, rejoicing in the fact that your dad was so meaningful in your life. And then you got an opportunity to be meaningful to those around you now. Um, it's, um, it really is a godsend that you have this opportunity um, because now you can shine, um, not just with your own light, but with a light that has been helped with your experience with your dad. Um, take this opportunity to move forward in that light with joy and know that you now have the responsibility to be the best version of Danny that you can be because you had the best teacher that Danny could ever have. So all that being said, brother, 2021, it's going to be your year. You get to pick it up, um, lay it down the way that you know it should be. Uh, follow that moral compass and that character that's been provided for you. Um, and I think the joy that you're going to feel is the enlightenment that you know that he's watching and you're making him proud. So, brother, like I said, my heart is heavy for you. But at the same time, I'm super encouraged that uh, you're the kind of man that is going to pick it up and you're going to carry it forward and you're going to carry it with pride, brother. So, um, God bless you, man. Um, and this is a, this is a heavier heavier cameo, um, but hopefully needed and hopefully helpful. Um, and um, I'm pulling for you. I'm praying for you. And I got a big fan over here for you. All right, brother? So buzz out. Peace out. God bless you, man. And um, go Hawks. Talk to you soon. Bye.